so children again i will take you to the screen to show you the different types of migration or the pictures what i showed just now and many more things uh, are going to be shown here you can see the reasons and the consequences the reasons and types of uh, migration and what are the reasons for migrate migration and what are the results also we have to understand and see the results also uh, later on i will be telling you what were the consequences when people migrate sometimes they have they are happy sometimes they are even sad so internal inside the country itself people migrate to rural areas urban areas and international also many people voluntarily they go by their own choice or wish to some foreign countries and involuntarily also sometimes they go they are not uh, interested then also they have to go maybe the choice they don't have any choice they have to go because of their children or something then you see seasonal i told you first only that due to some change in seasons and disastrous uh, seasonal effect because of that also people move like floods and all these things which take place then people have to move to a new place <coughs> sometimes the migration is planned people know it's their own wish like i i showed you for their own job a uh, new jobs betterment of jobs and for education purpose they plan that okay i will search for a job here and we will shift <coughs> so this these are the reasons and more reasons for migration you will see now you you seen all of you children when a magnet you see that uh, have you seen a magnet how when a piece of iron is put in front of it the piece of iron gets attracted so huh? so it has pulled it same way migration is also like that <clears throat> that sometimes people are pulled towards it what happens that they know that in where they are living that area is not going to be beneficial for them and they are going to suffer a lot so what happens when they see some uh, people who have already left from there and they are prospering they have become richer they have earned more and more money so what happens they also feel like going there and they have a get a good job they search for a job and they get the job and they reach there so this is pull factor when they see nice health facilities over there uh, nice type of uh, living new uh, better living style and all such things when they see they feel that we should also leave and go from here so i will show you the screen just now and we will see the different factors which are there which are the reasons for migration so just see the screen all of you children this is like a magnet and people are attracted towards the health care which they feel is better in uh, in some cities they go to those places then they see that some area is very peaceful where they are living every day some riots take place terrorist activities take place and then they feel that they should not live in such type of commotion area where there is no peace and they move for education they see better education for their children so they move there when they see that we can earn more and more money so for that also all that at is attraction when they are attracted for that they they see that the food what they they are getting here it's quite different in such big cities metro cities especially so they rush towards these areas all these areas are 
attracting them, pulling them towards the city life. They get good jobs and they have a lot of money and that's what people are wanting nowadays. They need to earn money. They want to earn money. The need of earning money that pulls them towards the big cities. Now, the push factors. There are certain things which push the people from their place where they are living. Where they are living, that they are forced to leave away from there, to go away from there. And that's the reason you see the push factors are what? Climatic disasters. Farmers are suffering a lot. They are unable to earn money. Their crops die sometimes due to heavy rains or maybe because of uh, to, it's not raining or something. Then they have to leave the place. Then sometimes people are pushed from their place. Why? Because of some wars. Wars take place and people have to move away from there due to fear they move from there. Then this is poverty. Poverty, you see, Poverty means what? When a person become, uh, becomes very poor, he does not have money to feed his family. A large family he is having, but he cannot feed his family. Then that person becomes very poor. And these are the push factors. So you have seen children, the pull factors and push factors. And these are the reasons why people move. When you read the lesson, you will understand it in a better way. I hope whatever I have explained to you through these pictures, you have understood very well. And I am sure you are going to do well in this lesson also. I am sure, have you done the first lesson also, the exercises and all? If you have not done, complete soon. So that when this lesson gets completed, you will have to do the exercise of this lesson. So I am stopping for now again. And I'll come back to you.